Welcome back to Dragon Army Books. My name is Dustin, and it is the most wonderful time of the year. What's your favorite holiday? Mine is Christmas, and I live in a place where we get snow, and so we've already had it snow a couple times. In fact, I think it's snowing a little bit right now. Christmas is just a couple of weeks away, and I know some of you last-minute Christmas shoppers are looking for gifts to get for the readers in your life. I've got the perfect list for you. To help you out, I've split my suggestions up into three different categories, audiobooks, e-readers, and physical books. So if you've got readers in your life that like to listen to their books, you can skip to that section. If you have readers in your life that read from you know, devices, then you can skip to the e-book section. And if you have people that love the smell of books and you just can't beat holding a physical book in your hand, skip to that section. For that special audiobook reader slash listener in your life, you can get a year subscription to a service like Audible. There are other subscription services like Audible, some even that uh, allow you to link to your independent bookstores around you, which I, I think is super cool. I've used Audible in the past. It's a very good service, very easy to use service, and the book selection is going to be your best selection out of all of the apps and opportunities. And it just allows the listener in your life, the reader in your life to be able to pick out books and within a matter of minutes, have them on a device that they can listen to. It's just super nice. It's a little bit pricey. Like I wouldn't buy it for myself, but getting it as a gift for Christmas, I would certainly use that to read a few books throughout the year. Another thing that you can purchase for the audiobook reader in your life are a pair of wireless Bluetooth earbuds. Uh, of course, the popular ones are the iPods Pro. And those are the ones that I use right now. They're the best because they can like filter out any noise from the outside and do some incredible noise suppression. But I've used a few different brands throughout my life and all of them are okay, you know? So like find a pair that they would like, but this allows them at the gym or on the go or while they're doing dishes. These are all things that I've done before. And maybe this can actually up their audiobook listening and you don't have to hear it all the time. So rather than them walking around the house with audiobook full blast, they can put in their earbuds, listen to it like that. Uh, it's super helpful. One other gift that I would suggest, and this is probably my favorite out of all, and I think the one that is least talked about when people have lists like this, and it is a Bluetooth speaker for your shower. They make Bluetooth speakers that you can stick onto your shower wall and play your audiobook music or anything through there. I always use it for audiobook or podcasting purposes, but it allows me, I know this is a freak kind of thing, but it allows me to continue reading multiple chapters early in the morning when I'm getting ready for work. So I'm in the shower, doing my hair, brushing my teeth, shaving, whatever I'm doing. And for about the 30 minutes that it takes me to do that or so, sometimes longer, uh, I, I'm able to continue to read the book that I'm reading. If you've got an audiobook reader, listener in your life, this would be an incredible gift to get them. And I would strongly think that, that the majority of them do not have this because they haven't thought about it yet. Get them a speaker for their shower. Now on to the ebook readers in your life, those that are digitally enhanced and inclined. The first thing that I would suggest is to, if they don't already, get them an e-reader. This one is a duh, they probably already have one of these. There are a variety of versions of these, but are there? I mean, the Amazon Kindle, specifically the Kindle Paperwhite is the one that I think sells more than any of the others. But there are a variety of these, so you can just go on to Amazon, go online, and <laughs> Amazon's probably going to push their paper white, but look for a good solid reader with a good battery life. And I don't know what kind of functionality that your particular reader is going to want. Some have Wi-Fi, some don't. Uh, some have some different color changing backgrounds, some don't. So like you're going to want to look through some of those options and, and pick the one that best fits your individual. But if the reader in your life has been reading primarily from their mobile device, maybe it's time to upgrade them to a much larger device so that they can actually read in the comfort of their bed or wherever. The second thing that you could get for the ebook reader in your life is really just a collection of things. Get 
get some accessories for them. So we, this could be as something as big as a case or cover for their e-reader, or you could get um, a stylus so that they can write on or take notes or highlight or underline. Uh, they don't always come with stylus, uh, styli. Maybe get them a charger that is longer than the charger that they currently have, or you can get them a stand so they don't always have to be hands-on, but they can maybe prop it up and they can read from a more comfortable position. Find them an accessory. Hey, get them stickers for the outside of the cover of the outside of their e-reader and for the physical book readers in your life you can't go wrong with a bookmark uh, find some good classy ones or find some that are based specifically on the kind of book or series that the reader that is in your life enjoys go to their library and, and start to look and see what series or author that they have and then you can find you can find bookmarks that were created in the style of those series or of those books. I'm, I'm sure they would love that. Specifically because they are probably using a tissue or a torn piece of paper or hopefully not. Some people are, what is it, dog earing? They're, they're bending over the corner of the page that they're on. Don't let them do that anymore. Don't make the book suffer. Get them a, a, a true, real, good bookmark. A second thing that I think would be really cool for a lot of readers to have is a custom book embosser. What this is, is like a, a stamp, but it really just presses a, a mark onto a page and they wouldn't do this all throughout the book, but you can get a custom one made with their name or initials and some kind of you know, design on it. And then they can use that embosser to tag maybe the title page of each of their books in their library. Not everyone would like to do this because it is somewhat defacing a book, but you know, if your reader is highlighting and already writing through and tabbing, maybe this embosser would help with a little bit of personalization for their own library. Another option for the physical book readers in your life is setting up a blind date with a book. I like this idea. It would mean that you buy two or three books that they don't currently have in their library. You wrap up the books that they and and tie them, and then on the front of the of the of the book the, uh, of the paper that you wrapped it with, you write a brief but not you know not too clear of a description of what kind of book it is, and you can get that from the back cover of the book, and then they will one at a time have to decide which book they want to take out on a date. They don't know much about this book, but they're going, they know that it's a, a fantasy story with a, a female protagonist that carries around glass blades, something like that. Well, maybe that sounds interesting to them. So they would take that book and they would read that book first, but then they can also take the other ones on a date because it is 2022. A final option for the physical book reader in your life is a special edition of a book they already love. You can find this on a few different websites. I'll try to include a few links below, but they make unique special editions, sometimes signed editions by the author that have a different cover or maybe some art inside or some color inside or some color along the edges of the pages. Find a special edition of a book they already love and get that for them. Yes, of course they already have the book, but some physical readers just like books and like the look of books in their library. And so to have a special edition of a book that they already love would truly be something special for them. Those are just a few options for Christmas gifts for the loved ones in your life who are readers. If you've got any other suggestions that I missed, drop those in the comments down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video, for clicking like and for subscribing. We'll see you in the next one.